Hey guys, Kev here, and I want to do my full review on the Riot K2 Knife Joker Edition with the fat carbon scales on here, or green fat carbon scales. Very interesting knife. Um, I played with this a good bit while it was here, but um, I didn't carry it much, basically because it has this zirconium clip and backspacer green fat carbon scale. It's just an expensive knife with fancy material. I didn't want to mess up. And on top of that, it has this click noise. It's one of those where the clip isn't seated properly or whatever, and it just taps against the scale. And if anybody wants to know how to drive me insane, that's the way to my heart or my hatred. Don't give me a clip like that. It is so annoying. I tried tightening it. It didn't budge at all and it you know didn't move and i didn't want to mess with it maybe it's too tight but again very expensive that clip alone is probably 120 bucks so i'm not really gonna mess with it have my dock street here and i wanted to real quick show off this hank this hank is from mad pal clothworks uh, i recently spoke to maddie over there really really cool girl or woman, and um, she makes Hanks, guys. Uh, just like JD from Shadowborn Hanks, I love JD. Um, and some other people around the community, a lot of people around the community um, are making Hanks, and I, I really enjoy them. I've grown to really love these Nano Hanks. And funny story, I talked to her and I said, hey, why don't you, I'll, or I said, I'll buy a couple Hanks, and if you wanna throw a couple in, I'll do an unboxing, I'll show the designs, and, you know, we get your name out there a little, and, you know, obviously I get some Hanks, um, and uh, obviously I bought some, so it helps her all around, helps me as well, um, and I could probably use the extra ones for giveaways and stuff, so I chose a couple and bought a couple, and one of the ones I chose with this, it's Disney um, Villains, with this microfiber backing, and this is the nano size. So I think it's like five by five or six by five or something. And this is perfect for my back pocket, guys. Um, I don't need a huge 10 by 10 hank because I'm carrying it in my back pocket with a pry bar. And it's just a lot to have all that back there. Um, anyway, she accidentally sent me the large one. And then she sent this after. And somehow this got here first. So I opened it today and I figured I'd just show it up. I just think it's really cool. But I'll do the proper unboxing and show all of them uh, when they show up. Just really cool work. Um, I don't know all the villains on here. I know this is the the bad guy. What's her name from Queen Elmira or something? It's oh my god, what's the name of that? It's the one where the the prince or the king turns into a donkey. It's funny. Um, you have uh, Jafar here. From Aladdin, love me some Jafar. Well, I hate him, actually. Um, there's Scar. Um, oh, there's Scar, and then there's, I think this is from Little Mermaid. I haven't seen the full movie, so I don't know. But really, really cool, and I love how it's purple. It has a woman's touch, you know? And I really like that, because, um, you know, we need a woman's touch in this in this community, you know? And I uh, appreciate that. Anyway, love Maddie. Just wanted to throw that out there. This knife was sent to me by Chris, a.k.a. Titanium Addiction, 1970 on Instagram. Really cool dude. Uh, he joins us on our um, live streams every other Saturday. It's called On the Edge. Kyle, DTOM Knives and Gear, and myself. Um, we have a blast that's coming up this weekend. Don't know when this will post, but hopefully before then. Um, please come and join us if you can, 8 p.m. Eastern on Saturday. So the Riot K2, interesting knife. Um, it has this really cool Tanto blade with this uh, compound grind. Riot really showing off here. Um, basically, they've done this for a few people like Chavez and uh, Birch Tree, and they basically wanted to you know do their own version of it. Um, and I think this knife has been out for a while, but really cool there. And then you have a pretty neutral handle, a little bit of a swell in here, straight back, and then kind of rounded to the bottom, right? Um, ergonomically, 
it fits very well in my hand. I think it's a four inch blade, big boy, but it fits. I don't have much extra hanging off. You have a little bit of jimping back here, but it works. It's very functional. Um, so ergos are pretty good. I didn't notice any issues, but again, I didn't really carry it. So there's that whole aspect to it. I can't speak to reaching past flipper tabs and all that stuff, which is a lefty. I don't really worry about because... I either carry it in my left front pocket where there's no flipper or most likely with a flipper I carry it in my back left pocket, um, which then it basically carries righty, but I don't have, I don't reach in there, you know, so only to get my knife. So yeah, so Ergo is pretty good on this guy. Um, action. This is an interesting one on action. I don't know if this thing needs to be cleaned or, or what, but it's just not what I expected from a Riot. You'll see there, it kind of, you know, it wants to go at one point, and then it just doesn't. And I got to let it, you know, okay. That was a little better there, but you can tell it's not really, like, dropping. I'm doing a lot of the work. I think maybe it needs to be cleaned out. I think if he took it apart, cleaned it, gave it a little KPL treatment, it'd probably be good to go. I didn't want to mess with it. I can see a lot of gunk and stuff in there, so I'm assuming... That's all it is. Um, it makes these interesting noises when it flicks out. And it like tings. And I think, I don't know if it's because I'm lefty and when I, the way I hold it, I think it's the clip. I think it's somehow vibrating through the clip or something. It feels weird actually. Um, but I wanted to note that. But the action, you know, for a knife in general, it's really good. You see it. Um, but for a Riot and what I expected out of a four-inch blade, um, I thought it would drop a little more, you know. It has a detent ball ramp, as you saw just there. It kind of shot back. Um, but, yeah, you can see it's not, it's not, like, terrible. It's definitely good. I just expected a little bit more. And I'm sure that's just some cleaning, right? Um, so action's good. I can't talk to Carrie, guys. Um, on cutting, I did cut a piece of paper or two just to see. And this is a very well done hollow grind on the back portion of this Tanto. And then you have this flat up front. Both are very well done. If you've ever held a Chavez or something like that that has this compound grind, it's basically identical to that. It might not be as thick on the stock, Um but it's very similar, very good for cutting. You have that secondary tip there to get into a package if you don't want to cut too deep and just slice. Um, yeah, it's very well done on that, on that you know, uh, point or whatever. Um, yeah, it's just a kind of, I don't, I don't know. Let me kind of gather my thought here. You know me, I just go willy nilly. Detent is very good on this. Riot usually nails a detent. Just crisp, flies out, locks up, no issues. Um, here's what I want to say, and I don't want to sound... I want it to come off the wrong way. This knife does not excite me in the least. Um, and I don't know why. I should love it. It has fucking fat carbon on it. It's made by Ria. It fires out. It has a fucking compound grind Tanto. I love those. It has good action. The more I say it, there's issues with the action, the the, the more I'm wrong. Look at that. Um, so, yeah. The action is actually really good. I'm sorry. I take back everything I said. Uh, it's basically drop shut. It just needs a little bit of KPL, I think. Or cleaning. Um, but anyway... The centering is a touch off to the show scale. Um, and you can see it when you look down the scale this side. It's almost rubbing, but it's not. But I should be so excited about this, right? All those things combined. And I'm getting to check it out. It has zirconium. It's a bit heavy because of that, but it just doesn't excite me. And you know, I don't mean that in a bad way. And Chris, if you're watching, I appreciate you sending this to me. I really do. I love you for it, man. 
Uh, and I'm glad I got to experience it because ever since I saw this exact knife on Jake's channel, Bearded Gear, he had a loaner from somebody. Um, I really wanted to check it out. But it just does nothing for me. And I'm like baffled by it because I love Chavez knives and that's basically a Chavez blade. Um, I love fat carbon. I want more fat carbon in the world on knives and they, I don't see it. It does nothing for me. I don't know if it's because it's green, but I like green. I don't know. It's so weird. And the Zerk, I'm not a Zerk guy, <laughs> says the guy with two Zerk uh, bit drivers. All right, I'm a Zerk guy. I'm not a Zerk on my knife guy because it's heavy, right? Um, but still, it looks cool on there. I just don't get it. I don't know what about this knife. I think it might be, this is all I can think of. I think it's the flipper only. And I, I stated this in my Shiro review. I think I'm getting to the point where I'm seeing so many knives, handling so many knives. I've had so many knives come through that I'm being more selective. And flipper only is just finding its way out of my collection. I still have a few. Most of them are like smaller knives. I'm finding, so I don't know if that has something to do with it, like a small knife with a good flipper action and a, and a droppy close, that's a nice knife. But still, I don't know. I'm thinking as time goes on, more of those knives will find their way out of my collection. So, interesting. But this knife really helped me kind of understand that and, um, you know, kind of take that a step further and, and uh, shed a little light on my own collecting, which is cool. So I really appreciate Chris for letting me check this out. Uh, this has been the Riot K2. Uh, again, I, I don't want one, but it's a very well-made knife, guys. If you like this design, if this sticks out to you, yeah, I can recommend it. It's very well-made. Uh, all of those things are positive. Riot, um, the grinds, the action, all of that stuff is solid. So I can recommend it for sure. I just don't want one. Because it's not my thing, I guess. So, that's the React K2. Love you guys. Love you, Chris. Appreciate you all. Hope you have a fantastic day. And I catch you later.